In this video, I'll be talking about how to create this kind of custom clipper with shadow. You can use it in your login screen or your home screen. Basically, the idea behind this is uh, stack and these two are container and I have taken this idea from this medium website name Kamlesh Basu and I'll be using these two clippers. This is the larger clipper, big one and this is the smallest and these two is given by this Kamlesh Basu. So thanks you, thank you for that and now let's jump into the code. So first of all, I'm creating a custom clip clipper file there it is and inside this I have created two class one is for big clipper and another one is for small clipper so inside this suppose if you will create like uh, if you will create class big clipper which will extend custom clipper path and inside this you you will have to give some methods required methods you can add like this same is for small clipper and for get clip all you have to do is just go to this svg i will put the link in the description box for each and every resources you can check that uh, let inspect this and this is the path copy this path from here and just go to this website converter svg to flutter converter put your code inside and x and y axis you will find here transformation this transform translate this is x axis and this is y axis that i have put here and tap converted and you need to copy this code control c yes now you will have to remove this instead of this okay that's it and same you will have to do for this small clipper for this you will have to go to this svg image and make sure the image is svg and again you need to uh, you need to inspect this like this you need to copy this path from this line to this without exclamation sorry without inverted commas and inside x axis y axis you need to put this and you can convert it just copy it and paste inside your code inside this small clipper so that is it for custom clipper now let's move to another thing yeah this is my home screen so it is a stateful type of widget and inside build method it is scaffold and for initial color i have choose this kind of background color this is the background color and then inside the body of a scaffold it is a stack and there is clip shadow path so for that this is the clip shadow path coding it is coming from here and i have taken this code from here happy harris pneumophic so this is the shadow code for providing the shadow like this this shadow is coming from this code so you can also copy and paste this code so I have already read you can read the documentation but uh, I already needed it for showing the shadow and I am taking it for that so for that inside stack it is clip shadow path and there is a shadow property and box shadow 
have given black color offset is 4 4 blood radius 4 spread radius 8 and then inside this there is a clipper and I have used big clipper this is my big clipper and child is container and the color of the child is green so this is the green and again inside this stack this is the this is another container you can say which is clip shadow path again for showing the shadow this black color shadow you can also uh, use clip path i will show you clip path and this property is actually coming from clip shadow path so let me uncomment this and let me show you how it will look like without this shadow control s uh, let me run this once again You can skip the duration. It is taking quite time because I'm running the app for the first time now <laughs> yes as you can see that there is no shadow so for showing the shadow you will have to use this property with clip shadow path oh, you will have to run this code again this is only for showing uh, purpose I have shown you the difference between clip path and clip shadow path that is here clip shadow path so I will put the link of each and everything inside description box you can check that so meanwhile it is a clip shadow path and it is same as uh, like we did for big clipper and this is the small clipper Yeah, there it is there is the shadow you can use uh, this design in your app according to your use you can change the color of the container from here and here so yeah and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe to that and like the video and hope to see you next time in our next video bye for now